In John chapter number 3, he meets Nicodemus. Nicodemus is a Bible scholar, void of the new birth. He was a master in Israel. The Lord Jesus said, Nicodemus, you must be born again. Our Bible colleges in this country are full of professors, Bible scholars, PhDs, THDs, and they've never been born again. They don't know the Lord Jesus Christ. Nicodemus, I know you're a master in Israel, but you don't even know about the new birth. You should know by studying your Bible that something had to be done for men that man cannot do. So Nicodemus, in John chapter number 3, in John chapter number 4, he meets the woman at the well. The woman at the well, if you, might call, you might classify her like this. Cultural Christianity. What's that? She'd had five husbands and the man she was with now was not her husband. All over East Tennessee, we've got redneck religion. We're eating up with it. Redneck religion means that you go down in your dance hall Friday night and Saturday night and get fallen down drunk and then on Sunday morning you worship the Lord. Amen. How many see that? That's redneck religion. And it's cultured religion. For up in New York City, they go out to the plays on Friday night and Saturday night and they wear their tuxedos and they drink their expensive wine and then they go to Mass on Sunday morning. Amen. Amen. He said, woman, if you knew the gift of God and who it is that talks to you, you'd ask of me and I'd give you living water. Religion in all of its beauty, in all of its glory, in all of its sacraments, and all of the stuff that you see around here, and all the stuff, 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 stuff here, stuff there, stuff here, stuff, all the stuff won't do one thing for your soul. It won't help you, friend. It won't help you. You can build the most beautiful buildings. You can build cathedrals. They're building cathedrals down off Kingston Pike right now. Cost millions of dollars. I saw one the other day. I thought, my goodness, this looks like what they build in the Holy Land. Blew my mind. I thought, this little old box we come to on Sunday morning is nothing compared to these huge cathedrals with their domes and all of that. And I thought to myself, God does not meet in buildings made with stone. God is not confined in walls that hold us in. This building was not built for God. It's built for you. Because if it rains and you don't have this roof over your head, you get wet. God doesn't get wet. <laughs> so when you build these huge cathedrals and put millions of dollars into it, and you talk about this as the house of God, let me tell you what the house of God is. The Bible says that every last one of you are a stone that's been implanted in a wall, that by not made with human hands, that you have the humanity of Christ that covers you, and then the gold of the deity of Christ, and it becomes a habitation of God through the Spirit. It is a building of God not made with hands. Amen. That is the house of God. The house of God cannot be made with human hands. It's made by the building of the Lord. So I'm thankful for our box. How many of you saw the box we met in for 35 years? Brown walls and people walk in here and it was blab and drab. <laughs> and now people come in and say, I've never seen a ceiling like that before. They call that a coffered ceiling. I never had either till I saw it in a magazine and I said, that's what we want right there. And we're building a wall up here in the front. How many of you have seen the wall? That's to keep all the illegal aliens out. Uh, we'll be accused of that. No, these doors are open. Whether you're a Mexican or whether you're a, 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 a Swede or what, it makes a difference what you are. The wall is something that I think you're going to like when it's finished because it's going to have the name of Temple Baptist Church on it, and it's beautiful. And I'm going to tell you, so I hate to tell, I hate to confess this, but it's a copied wall. There's another one out there just like it. And when this one goes up, I dare you to go out and find the original. Because it's built just like it. Amen. It really is. So when this wall is finished up here, get a good look at it. And then go out and drive around in the community and you're going to find a wall leading into a subdivision just like it. Now I hope those folks in the subdivision don't get mad because we copied their wall. 
They might have copied that wall from somebody else. But the bottom line is, it's just a wall. Right? Just a building. It's just a ceiling. Just a microphone. But where's the Lord? Amen.